Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Vexed versus Smoke Criminals. It's about to be a banger here on DE Inferno. Keith, I have to say, Vexed, there are some roster changes. I am not entirely sure what to expect from them. Smoke yeah. Criminals, I think we have a kind of a better idea. We've seen Firoth, uh, we've seen him play on many rosters before. We've seen him play many times in Winners League before. We know what, what his him and his crew are up to. We know what yep. they're capable of. I think this Vex roster is unpredictable. It's more of a mixed bag, but I mean, they have someone named Jimmy Buckets and Greek Freak Roy. Why are you worried? I, I'm not worried at all. I am <laughs> questioning if they are powerful because they are young. They're the real deal. They are. They might be the real deal, right? They have Link. Yeah. They have they have players that we've seen before on this roster, which I assume is one of the Greek Freak or Jimmy Bucket. I'm not sure which one is which here, but. Could be, it could make for an interesting match, right? I mean, I, I haven't seen too much of this Vex. I know it has been around for a long time, though. So they wouldn't put, just put together some random team. They'd uh, they put together a team that wants to compete. Going up against Smoke Criminals. As we said, we know Fear Off James. I believe it was here last year. But no one else rings a bell to me. Maybe that's because my memory sucks. Yeah, no, your memory does actually suck. Was Zasty here? Yeah, Zasty and Petit Skell were okay. definitely there before. Okay. I see. They need a logo. They need to brand themselves. You know what I'm saying? I think they, they have a, a bootlegged one. They need to pull like uh, like Steel. You know, he has his uh, his torqued. Smoke criminals need a, just like a logo or uh, you know something. I'll, I'll get in touch with Firoth, see if he has a an alpha image of his mm -hmm. of his team. But for now, it is going to be the beginning of the match. Knife round has already unfolded. Vex will be on the CT side. Zaisi picking up double flashes in a kit. To me, that suggests Banana fights. Let's see if we'll see that action early. We may. We see the flashes from Zaisi. He's going to hold on to there. I can't even get a peek. There's chilling, and Vex is just. Have you ever seen that? All on the bridge, waiting for a peek. Chomping at the bit for someone to peek him, and they don't. So it's looking like a Hall's pop then. I like this. The skill. Tough task ahead of him. It's really going to come down to timing. As soon as he repeats, there's going to be several players in front of his face, but he actually manages to get one before he is eliminated. Now the flashbang is here. Zaisi's blinded temporarily, but it's going to be James and Zaisi trying to hold this one back, but only James with a kill. James is stuck out and smoked out now. 3v3, Firoth made the jump very quietly. He's coming in through halls. What a shot. And the Greek Freak. He's going to keep on running up now. EC, EC has to find an angle. He has to hold the same. Comes through the smoke. Gets bodied. And Firoth is not missing. Three clean headshots from that USP. Smoke criminals. We'll pick up the pistol. Okay, nice and easy. MP9s of Hamas XM for Petit Scale. I like it. Now, th th this is this has been actually one of the biggest criticisms of the economy system. Is this this round in particular? You get a bomb plant, suddenly you have SG, AK, and a Mac 10, which is honestly better than what Smoke Criminals have, and they're coming. Excuse me, they're coming off a round win. So I, I don't understand how that that functions this way. But James is already eliminated by the SG. EC1, it's done a lot of damage. You could always pass that SG over to Adam, who's pretty still relatively healthy. D scale though, up close and personal with the XM, and he might find the equalizer here. Ooh. Okay, that gun is so sick. It absolutely just shuts down halls. What a shot. We calling him Zawalo, hollow. Zalo, yeah, I would go Zalo. with Zalo. I like that. It's all those sounds, all right. And it is a B-Rap from Vex. And this is the right play from Smoke Criminals. Push Banana, but Adam is a savage. Because he's going to push right back up. I think but his brain is so big. Of course he will. Connor's gone. Petite Skell. Last. Last man standing. And uh, Vex Gaming. I mean, for the buyback, that looked really convincing. Yeah, and this run comes with severe consequences on top of that too, right? Now they've not only tied up the game, but they've gotten a double eco. Some more criminals were fully invested and they have zero loss bonus. 
which honestly, uh, at first I kind of like this, but now I honestly just despise this. This should not be a mechanic in the game. You should not lose the first round and have a better purchase in the team that won the round. It, that makes no yeah. sense to me. Because now they're only going to get $1,400, right? <laughs> Their money is going to really suck. Yeah, I think... And so they're pretty much have to buy. For sure. Yeah, I think they should consider just re reducing the the plant bonus in the first round to, to by half or something. That actually might completely eliminate that. It'll probably only see like one SG at most or maybe one AK, but it'll be glass cannon at best. But anyways, I'm not going to argue the, the mechanics of CS right now. It's 1-1, one, one, vexed. Now they have a full buy on top of that as well. The FAMAS is kept, which means money is looking actually quite nice for Vex. If they can make this round clean, not only will they find themselves the lead, but they'll actually find Smoke Criminals echoing again. And that might be even more of a comfortable lead here for Vex. So, important round ahead for Vex, Keith. Yeah, this is a big one. Nice thing is we Smoke Criminals. Everyone's got a smoke. Chain smoke it up a little bit across the map. The Vex Gaming are playing very safe. A 2-1-2 default for the most part. I don't even think they want to go halls, to be honest, to get into Petite Skulls <laughs> into his way. I think they're just going to concede that and uh, just play for Banana, which is a safe call. Yeah, for sure. They definitely know Petite Skulls in that direction, though. <laughs> they're definitely avoiding the apps for that 100%. Yeah. But only problem is he's up close and personal towards Boiler. So he actually could potentially find another kill right here. But it's just a little long range. And now there's chaos happening here in Bracket. Zicey and James, they might just get it done. Zicey hunts down for the second kill and he finds it. And not only that, but actually the advantage for his team, Vex, they're abandoning Bracket. They want nothing to do with that. They're falling straight back in towards the B site. Adam, as soon as that smoke fades, time to go. But that resmoke, perfectly timed. Back towards middle, upgrade to the SG is Greek Freak. Wrapping onto A, where it is just Zasty. He just has a shotgun and stuff. Look at Adam <laughs> in B. He's going to be a But both players now have rotated smoke criminals towards A. James is here alone. There's a player in pit. There's a player porch side. They're all one shot. But let's be clear. I don't think he, he has much of a chance. Yeah, uh, this is awkward. They have no idea that he's on site right now, but the problem is he can't get off the box without making noise. And Jimmy Bucket actually clears for it, and the Vex will actually come back out on top. But that extended so much damage. It's really unfortunate he didn't get a single fatality right there. Otherwise, that actually might have been doable. Otherwise, Smoke Criminals, they're on the back foot. It's going to be a save. Wait, Connor already bought up. Connor, what you doing? He's not looking, is he? He has just lost his box. Yeah, maybe a misbuy? I'm not sure. I can't explain. That's gonna hurt. Nice shot from Zay. He's making up for it. Makes that UMP almost viable now in this situation. And yeah, they do have the triple stack on B on top of that. Actually, make that a quadruple stack. Sorry, I didn't even see that fourth player. He was hiding. Dicey, if you can apply a little more presence, just scare Vex away. Funnel them into that B site somehow. Be the most ideal outcome. Dicey, close to the mark, just a little bit off. Now Vex is starting to... Pr they're pressuring this R side a really heavily, Keith. Looks like they want to. Bucket's going to find Firoth. They have the A site. The bomb is way back on T stairs, and they're coming back to it actually. So they're running back into the smoke criminal stack where the UMP is. Keep in mind. So if there's ever a chance for Connor to have an impact with his missed buy, this is it. Or or intentional buy. Yeah, this is this is definitely. Only problem is it's a really common angle on top of that first orange is right. They're going to expect the pistol to be up there, so they might just hard clear for him. But these scouts trying to draw the attention away. This is actually really smart, even at a, even when it comes to other casualty. Now Connor's time to shine, but he's only good for one. Nice spacing from Vex. They maintain the, the lead and the round. Three players alive. Three to one, Keith. Now Connor's purchase, not terrible. MP9, a little bit of utility. Sadly, could have been way better, unfortunately. Definitely. But he'll take it. 
as long as he makes up for it here, I don't think this team will be too, uh, too bothered. That looks like a good nade. Hit him right on the teeth. And there you go. All is forgiven. Good nade in from Connor. And Smoke Criminals are only playing two towards B at the start of the round. Not so uncommon, but you'll see some teams typically just throw three, especially in the early on rifles. Just to set that precedent that we want to chip you down with damage and kind of just slow down the tease. But without that being there, they're going to straight execute here, Roy. They're going fast. James BT trying to reposition, but he might just get caught off. Connor doing a significant amount of damage. Just finding a kill on top of that. James, he needs assistance as soon as possible, but no assistance to be found. Adam eliminates him, and that's the B side now open. It's a four versus three, but Vex is wounded. Zalo and Adam, both are really... Or this could actually be the, this could be the key into the retake here, but again, no kits. Uh, they get the huge kill. They still have three smokes. Zayski is able what? to get a second. Eight bullets, and it's just Greek. And he is caught in the open. And Firoff has him. They just. I don't know what made Vex Gaming take all those fights. Wow. Unreasonable. That I can't even begin to explain that. I honestly have no idea what just happened. Seems like Smoke Criminals won every single duel in succession. You hate to see that, right? Either you're in the perfect spot, you're in good positions. You have two wounded players, though, so maybe forward positioning honestly isn't really the best idea in that circumstance. Either way, they managed to do a lot of damage at the very least, and the bomb plan at least keeps their money in check. But Vex Gaming, now they're fully invested. And if they don't get a bomb in here, that will surely be an eco. So small criminals could tie this and potentially take the lead. Not only that, but Firoth finally has the golden gun. Coming in. Would have locked this down. Firoth gets involved and Pete Skell just ends it. I mean, Roy, what do you want me to say there? That was just an absolute slaughter towards mid. Flash is missed. Everything went well for Smoke Criminals. They were able to shut this down and just lock it out. Vex Gaming. Money's gone now. And that is just not a good look for them. Yeah, if you're going to take mid control, I feel like you need to shut down at least one of the sides. They tried to do it with the molly and the flash, but they completely neglected that booth position, which is really common now, especially early into the half. But either way, Smoke Criminals looking to bully out Banana with the utility. The nade sack is just real, and the first blood is Smoke Criminals, and they've managed to do it relatively easily. Roll towards Hall as well. Petite Scout looking to keep hold of that. Solo pushed up in halls. As you mentioned, Petit Skull is just going to fall off the balcony. Not wanting to get uh, too involved there. If you're out, get him on the halls. Good timing here. I mean, it's just an execute from Vex. So they're going to have to pump their brakes a little bit. And they're just going to come out towards mid. Fear off. Pushing forward. He hears his teammate take damage from that ball. Might have thrown him off a little bit. Safety. Good spray control for two. Two of the pistol for the third. Nice. Easy for him. Four for smoke criminals. Here we go, back on the buy round. Greek freak, show me the money. Now, Smoke Rumble's economy was rough considering they got double reset early, but look how strong their purchasing power is now. EC1S goes on top of the wood, finds James BT angling him out well, but I think they're aware that there is another player on the right side stuck. He's trying to get out, but it will be Connor to win the duel. Not even a single shot taken back, that's clean. Greek Freak now going to come up towards top at Anna. They do already have Adam tucked away in that little corner. And I think Zayski may have an idea he's there, but he doesn't want to commit. They still have smokes here. And Adam may just walk through them. If they smoke, I think Adam will have Yeah, but it's, oh, what a pullback from Zayski who gets two. Now they have to come through this smoke. They have no map control. They can't fall back. I felt like their only chance was pressuring the smoke. Now they're sitting ducks. They do have time, though, on their side. And soon it will not be. 
Now, the only problem is, you're absolutely right, is they can't really fall back. They have so many angles to clear, and with so little time left on the clock, that's not really an option. They need to find this anchor. Flashbang goes high. Connor does not react to that, but that resmoke is rough. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Connor. That is disgusting. Wow. Okay. That's one way to shut down, shut it Ooh. all down. Not bad, not bad. Pistols for Vexed. Set of armor out on Adam. Double ops now for smoke criminals. Weird round to pull it out, to be honest. But, I mean, they have money. I don't think they're too bothered. Just there's a high chance of getting run over by pistol. As Connor falls back for those nades, can hit him right on the teeth. And Vex Gaming top, get top and end control. Don't fade out too much utility, but they've done enough that one kill might be able to swing this in their favor as I yawn. Yeah, this crossfire is real. There's no way they're going to get past that without a one deke or some sort of utility. Uh, look at look at the aggression from Fear Hoth right now. It's coming out. They have a lot of money. They're not. This is where it becomes really unpredictable, right? You have that economy. You you can take all the risks you want. You can play just to your confidence and aggression. There's not really much repercussion, really. Nice patience from Petit Skell. Zala walks right into it. Greek Freak, his position is compromised and eliminated. Smoke Criminals, 6-3. A solid turn of events. They got double ecoed and now they're at 6-3. That's... If that's not composure, I don't know what is, Keith. Yeah, they've really turned this around. And look how much money they have. I think they're good for at least two, I'd even argue, three rounds, right? The way the loss bonus will tick up. I think they're sitting pretty comfortably. A lot of pressure on Vax to be as clean as possible. As Smoke Criminal sent three players here towards the top of that. They're going to get their nades down. They're going to fight for control. And they have the opening pick from Connor. I mean, what more can you ask for? Absolutely. Nate Stack's coming in. That's going to do some damage, but still, they still have control of Car. They, they need to be taken away. Vex, Molotov, that will push Connor back. Now they finally have Car. Oh, the need! Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that's rough, man. They've lost a player. Adam is down to half. And they've only gained banana control, Keith. Doesn't sound uh, quite worth it, Roy. Let's be honest. Okay, Connor. all right, Connor. We see you. Yeah, he's he's got a second. All and right, Connor. Third. Is he gonna get more, Roy? I mean, Let's find out. Man's feeling down. it. He'll flash. That's James gonna get involved from new box. He's got the last two. Connor and James shut it down, and that I'm telling you, I've had that happen to me in matches. That is gonna be a mental tick. Going in Vex's column, where they go, oh, man, we can't get banana control. We can't win the fights early on. We get control, and then the offer shuts us down. We can't go there anymore. We have to get brackets. That's It's going to bug them. It's going to start to change a little bit how they play. And what Brit separates the good teams from teams that struggle in situations like this is that mental fortitude to keep pushing and keep trying. How about a B-Rush for you trying, for your mental yeah. fortitude? They're going to keep trying. They're going to go right through the defenses. Molotov is just in time. I don't think they have a smoke to uh, they do. They have one. But they're gonna elect not to use it. James BT posted up with the SG. That's gonna be probably an easy kill for him as soon as that player peeks. Oh, he sees the hand. He definitely knows he's there. Just a patience game now. I think smoke criminals are realizing this is likely gonna end to a B hit. So they're sending the numbers in, but it's only a matter of time. Connor, James BT trying to hold it back. Tap, 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 and away. James eventually gets eliminated. Connor not looking in the right direction. Oh, that's on, kind of the downside of an off, isn't it? But it's down to a two versus three in Vexed. They might have just stolen the round away. Okay. Fear off, waiting out the smoke. They have a Molly still on him. Every smoke's gonna suck, but he can afford to go CT. He is gonna Molly out EC1S though. He's gonna hit him. He has to come out. He keeps skull, gets a kill. They know he's stuck. Oranges, what a retake. That is the power of utility. And you can tell how on point their comms were. Mm-hmm. That's why they're called the smoke criminals, Keith. They're not afraid. These are, they're not afraid of those smokes at all. They're not intimidated by it. And that it was really well communicated. That, that is one thing I will always respect this roster for, right? They've been together for a while. Yeah, Fear Up had a bit of a... I wouldn't even call it a falling out, really. He just got other offers that he explored to see if it would be better suited for him. But he's back now, and 
they're banging. Zeiss at 16-6. He's been at that mark for actually almost two or three rounds now. So, I mean, he's ahead of schedule in terms of stats for sure. Definitely. He's like a public public project that's getting done a week early. Everyone's just surprised. Spiron is going to get another opening pick. It's been the Smoke Criminals Ops that have really been able to just find these success, find these opening picks on Vax. No responses whatsoever from Vax, really, when it comes into that category of refrags. It's, uh, it's been all the boys on Smoke Criminals. Getting away like criminals. A good criminal never gets caught. Adam. Oh, this is savage, but he gets caught off last second. Saves James. That is really unfortunate. Men's awareness from Firoth. Now Vex has really no choice but to execute on this site. They know that there's a player in, in new box somewhere on site. But that player in CT was not spotted at all. Oh my goodness, these ops are just locking it down. Greek free classmen standing James to the pistols. Three from Firoth Roy. Like, what more do you need from him? And there were still two players yet to rotate off of A. Smoke criminals are just popping off. Right? You know, I was having a conversation not that long ago about how sometimes it feels impossible to stop a double op setup on Inferno. It, it really is incredibly difficult. Like, there are so... This is, like, one of the safest maps to op on, honestly. Like, there are so many fallback you know, positions. So many, yeah, exactly. Fallback angles. As you read my mind. It's just... It's honestly, like... Unless you're absolutely flawless with your set piece, like not even a set piece, sorry. Like if you have to have like a really well defined anti op setup for these. Like if you don't, you're just gonna slowly get picked apart. You go bracket, you could be either left side, right side. Okay, you push him off left side. Now he's either arch or moto. He's library. He's it's just like where does it end? He by the time you get go, on a site, you can even go pit by the time you get out. Right, and like by the time you you're on a know. site, he's fallen back two to three times and gone two to three opportunities to find opening kills. And then okay, you figure out there's an opera on this side, so you try to go somewhere else. Boom, you walk into another opera. Same thing on banana from car to the corner to CT to coffins. It's just like where does it end? B site doesn't do any favors for entry fraggers either. The pillar, the dark corner, the quad box, like <laughs> the fountain. Tons of places for uppers. Yeah, uppers paradise indeed. I I, I would I would say. So. And there's buy from Vex. Everything they need for success is Daisy. Wants to get aggressive. He wants to push down. He's gonna take the fight to him. Shadow actually gives it away. Free freak will say thank you, although he doesn't have armor. He'll take that gun. And that opens up Vex to a big opportunity here. Nice shot from Jimmy Buckets, who sinks a three-pointer from downtown. And the only response from Smoke Criminals is to keep fighting Banana. They still have no idea James is up close, but now they know. But they know that two people are B. They could, they could hit this A site right now. Petite Skell. Only a flash and an eight to defend against this hit coming in right now. Four players are looking to swarm. Smoke criminals are picking up on this. The rotates are there, but Petit Scal has to be on point. Bazala will find the kill. That is now the site open. And a second. Wow. And now Firoth has so much money. I don't know if he wants to give this op away. Um, he may even be considering throwing it out of the map and just picking up a rifle going for exits. But EC1S doesn't give him that chance. Doesn't even let him think about it. And I'm surprised EC1S isn't going for that op. Suppose it's not in their game plan. It is probably one of the harder maps to op on T-side. Right. I'd say. Agreed. Yeah, I'd say it actually, I might even say it's the hardest map to op on T-side. Because you're constantly, as you said, peeking into offers angles on CT side. For sure. Yeah, but as soon as you get into that post plan, that's when like the T-side op is like, mm -hmm. oof, it's kind of scary. Kind of reverses, right? Like early to mid, exactly. it's so easy to op, but then retaking with ops is impossible. And then on the T side, it's like, it's really hard to, to be effective on the T side offing. But then once you get into that post plan, it's just like, woo, easy pickings. Now Vex, not a terrible half so far. If they can, if they can somehow find a 9-6, that'd be great. Even a 10-5 would not be a terrible feat. But if the 11-4, that'd be really hard to claw away from. Zalo's hearing this. He's hearing a lot of commotion. He has an idea there in lane right now. Here's the scope from Firoth as well. You know that he's there. 
Excuse me. Oh my god. Ooh. Well, they don't want to challenge her off. So it looks like the archer's just going to head towards B here. And look at this roach hit, though. Freon's already on his way over. He's already munching. He's already walking. Smokes come raining in. There's a molly on J. He's going to keep gun out. And he falls in the smoke and doesn't get a single kill. That's a blunder from James. As Creek Freak plants his bomb. A 4v5 retake. And they only have flashes to do it with. I like the jump spot boost. Maybe they can get some information on new box, but right now the double op retake is going to be incredibly difficult and they're out of Malta, so pushing off new box as long as that player doesn't peek into the ops, he's pretty much covered. The flashbang is there. That's going to maybe let them get some space, but time is ticking. Adam finds the first kill. Nice flick from Firoth, but it's not enough. Nice shot from Firoth. You see one at spinning around like a madman. And Greek Freak's got his pack covered. Three alive from Vex Gaming. They get a fifth on their teeth side. That may just be enough, to be honest with you. Smoke Criminals pushing for double digits. They have enough money for a full buy here. So they're fighting. Vex have found themselves in a situation, as I mentioned earlier, where they have to fight for every single round. Yeah, it's honestly one of the worst positions to be in in the game by far. You never get a freebie. Yeah, every round is a grind, man. It's never ending. Let's see how this plays out, though. Vexed. We have established banana control unscathed this time. That's a change of pace. Eat skill, trying his cheeky one ways and hauls, but the, other, the player's actually to his right inside the window room. Uh, Petit skull's position is known, made noise. Wow. Okay, Zacy almost just got caught right there. Actually, I'm surprised he didn't hunt for that kill. I thought he would have that for sure. Again, though, Roy. Smoke criminals with three players here towards B. Biron gets one in front of the smoke. They're going to flash in. Connor's playing Fountain. In they come. Adam goes down. Connor dodges the flash. Counter flash to the smoke criminals. They need a clean entry, and Jimmy gets past the one. But look at this from James. He's jumping around oranges, nice. and he hits the third. James BT gets 10 for the boys on smoke criminals. Is vexed. Only one player breaking that double digit kill mark. Yeah, that's rough for sure. I have to say, though, that they made that really easy for James in that final round, though. Connor finding one, Firoth finding a second. By the time they got on site, three players left, and they hadn't even cleared the top of oranges yet. That's madness. 10 to 5, though. Smoke criminals. Let's see what they're up to. Vexed, on the other hand, they have a molly. They have a flash. Nate kit as well for Adam. Where is Greek right now? Is he on towards B? Ah, oh, he's mid, okay. Flashbang for the mid peak, nothing home. I think the bomb is spotted, so they have an idea this is likely ending into an A hit, no? Hey, okay, no, yeah, they're still lingering around, okay. Smoke double flashes for fear off. Smoke for Moto. Flash over pit once. It's going to allow Connor to get out, hopefully. But he manages to get down below. The second flash covers him. But there's a double setup inside the pit. Connor finds one. He's no way expecting the second. EC1S. Greek Freak for two. An elaborate B rap. It's all in Petit Skell getting in here and getting his kill on this player, Adam. He's trying his best. He knows there's a push coming in from CT. And there you go. Greek Freak will tap away Petit Skull. It's just Zasty. Winnable. He's gonna have to hit some nut shots. Oh! oh! Hang on, two! Is he gonna pick up the USP Wills? But he sits in the mall, he goes down to seven, he has to wide swing, he see what is. He's gonna be able to get his second kill, and that was almost terrifying. Just as you say, he's gonna need to hit some sick shots. Get a double kill lineup, that's crazy. Couldn't have lined up any better for him, but that was a 4v1. Tough task to ask from anyone. Smoke criminals, no bomb plant. They're gonna take. They're actually gonna take the safe route. No purchases. Wow.
That surprised you? That, that it, yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'm not sure why I'm surprised by that, but it's just I'm so unpredictable now. Every team has a different approach. Some teams force by, some teams don't. Very true. Buckets. You're gonna be able to get a kill on Connor. Smoke criminals. Looks like they're just gonna end towards B here. This is gonna be uh, a little hard to crack this, I'd say. Just a little bit. From the B site, Adam EC1. It's nice damage, but still no kills. He's gonna get dink. Jeez. This is literally impossible for Petit. There's no, <laughs> there's no escaping the inevitable Petit. And to seven smoke criminals back on the purchase here. But the only problem for Vex is they're stuck with these MP9s, which isn't necessarily a problem, but. It definitely weakens them in this round right here. Luckily for them, that leaves them with more money moving forward. Let's see if they have a plan in mind. They're sending triple towards B. Okay, I like I like it. You gotta take something. You gotta take a risk early here with these weapons. A risk had to be made. That gaming looks like they're gonna now just start to push down. Banana looks like they're waiting for a flag. Some sort of confirmation that they are indeed gonna push down there. And it looks like they are just going to play the contained game. The chain deep smokes down deep banana. It forces smoke criminals to try to get brackets, essentially. As soon as you lose banana, you need halls or brackets. Whatever you prefer, but you need one of the two. No, smoke criminals are converging on that A site, Keith. Bomb is still bottom, bottom banana, so there is a possibility they go back. Right now... Seems like they are going to pressure Bracket. You got to take something here. They've lost Banana. They have to take something away. It's going to be Bracket. They're going to go up lane. Smoke Criminals, they sh they know that this is a the potential for setup here. No way they commit without anything. Smoke for Sight. They're sending players in. They're actually, they actually actually are going to commit. The Smoke and the Flashes now to give them some space on Sight. There's three players on Sight, Keith. Oh, but Connor gets the entry. Good refrag from Greek Freak. There's still two more players to get here. These MP9s are deadly at this range. Another one is Zasty will finally go down as James. Does he know all those here? Not a clue. Vex Gaming at eight. The cheeky little stack, eh? Gets the job. I'm genuinely surprised they actually commit to that, though. It's like one of the... Probably the most meta thing on this map is to take banana control and have four people lay until the banana control is taken away. Like you have to pressure banana a little bit, even just a couple flashes, just to apply some doubt, right? Just to pull one person back. Nice Nate stack coming in from Vex. Over 100 damage dealt already. Boost for Zasty. And that's just fine. Like, just, just lines up the bottom totem. That couldn't have gone worse for Spot Criminals. That was the play. I think yeah. that would have worked to get them a fix, too. And... Sometimes you catch W, sometimes you catch L's, Keith. This time, they caught an L, just like EC1S, who caught a 1D to the face. Pretty happy with that money they get with this. Although they only got one kill, they're trying to hurt Vex Gaming's money as much as possible. A plant to boost their own economy is nothing to stop at. I think they'll be okay with that. Good kill, three kills from Adam. Starting to heat up. Vex Gaming are going to get to nine. Uh, they'll be halted from double digits for now. As Smoke Criminals will answer back with a quick meaty buy. Yeah, that bomb plant was massive. That bump plan actually gets him two buy rounds in a row here.
Low play for smoke criminals. Standard inferno tings. Beat scout. Excuse me, Firoth. Destroys Greek Freak. Looking to get peaky in banana. Five banks coming out. If Adam's not careful enough, he get get caught off as well. But the off angle is too strong. Firoth misses a shot and gets punished for it. Wow. And Adam has taken the advantage for his team towards banana. Bomb is down. It needs to be recovered. But while all this is happening, Zeissi is gaining ground by the second here, Keith. He could catch Adam completely off guard. Oh, he will. What a play from Zeissi. The timing on that push was so well done as Connor. And Adam's making good timing himself. Jimmy seemed aware enough to look back. That smoke can almost look like they are just going to finish this push up. They're going to try to keep pushing into B. Zeissi, another great timing. I mean, who expects a player to be there? Let's be honest with each other, right? Like, no one. This is awkward, because Zalo is still looking for Connor here. And he spotted him. He eliminates him. A two versus one. He has a kit. He has utility, but he's not healthy enough for it. And, yeah, if he's just going to go for the save, he's way too far removed from that. But good damage. They have a lot of money in the bank. They're not too worried right now. And they shouldn't be. Well, yeah, as you said, enough money to secure a complete full buy. Not a worry there. But Smoke Criminals needed that confidence, right? Zayski needed to get back into the swing of things. And uh, that'll do it. <laughs> He's got to be feeling pretty good now. 21, 2, and 12. They're off on 15. Connor's up there. Smoke Criminals, though. I haven't seen too many straight executes for them. We've seen a lot of lurking, a lot of one-man prodding. Um, so we'll see if they can come together a bit more here on the T side. Now, I wonder if Smoke Criminals will eventually change their pace. Like, they've been playing relatively predictable so far. Same standard default every round. Of course, every team has their own, you know, their own little shtick. Smoke Criminals is a default heavy team. I respect it. But at what point does this begin to work against them? And as soon as that double op setup is established for Vex, that's kind of the default breaker, right? He starts to slow walk into things. That's when it gets a little coin flippy. Adam, just playing the jump spot on B. I like this. He just has information. As long as he's doing this, he can keep four players towards the A site. There it is. Now the pressure is here towards Banana. Adam's going to get pushed back. They're going to have to send that extra player back towards the A, towards the B side, excuse me. And that weakens the A. So now if they want to end A, it is possible. Chance. Taking their time though, are they? We're gonna get banana control. Vex Gaming have pulled their players off of B, Roy. There's one man left and slowly but surely EC1 else is coming back. And this is gonna be this XQ. Be the one we've waited for. Flashes in. Molly is here on the back team box. He wanted to spring the smoke. He's gonna find Petite Skull. And it looks like they're gonna go for this boost. And Firoth just misses the opportunity. He got covered though by Connor. Zasty with that flank again through spawn. Puts easy one ass on a bit of an island. He was alone with no backup because Greek has to deal with with Zasty here. Yeah, he has no idea Greek's looking for him, so he will find the equalizer. Or excuse me, the advantage for his team. EC1S is in a prime position. He's forward. He just has to deal with Connor who's on his right side, but Firoth is covering him. So this is a, quite a predicament here. All in Firoth's hands. Connor finds one, a nice straight. Firoth with the trade as well. Down to the 1v1. Greek freak time is ticking. You can't hold forever with the op. Firoth knows it. Firoth is playing that to his advantage. The bob tap comes out. Firoth has played it to perfection. That's it. He's got it. But he's lost his life in it for it though, unfortunately. Oh ho ho ho. Ooh, that was close. That was close. They needed that up. That's a lot of money saved right there. 12 to 9, though. Vexed. In a tough spot right now. It's going to be the eco. Nice call. Yeah, not bad. I mean, they're going to give up 13, but uh, if we fight for this, we really don't have much of a chance. You're breaking the bank Jeez, for I not much. Yeah, that's not a bad nade. Can they capitalize on it? 
Adam. Can't go back because the molly could damage on and save Steve, but cannot find that bullet. Greek. Oh. Shut down. I mean, all shut down two. Uh, I mean, one more one like one D. I don't know. Zacy's so low. VC one that's gonna win this. Uh, this is this is making me nervous a little. Do bit. it, Jimmy. Do it, Jimmy. He does it. Dude, he has such forward timing on this flank. This could work if he had a rifle though. That would have been much better. The op. Yeah, he he knows it. He can't scope. That sucks. I'm gonna walk straight on site. That player is not even gonna expect it. Connor eventually looks for it, but it's a one for one trade. That's not a bad deal. It's doable. PC1 just needs to get on site somehow. He has a deagle. He's doing a lot of damage. Connor looking for his fourth. Well, picks up the op and AC comes through to find his second. Smug criminals, they maintain. But man, was their spacing a little jumbled there towards mid to let mm -hmm. Greek Freak get to that P2. That could have been scary. They were in the, the one shot P250 range, right? As soon as you get chunked down 10 damage, that P250 is one shotable up close. It gets, you gotta control quickly. Either way, 13 9, we're back into the realm of sanity. The money for smoke criminals is still not that great, Keith. This could turn at any point in time here. Vex, though, they're fully invested. They need to be on point. If you're gonna lose the round, you have to save three. If you lose all five, it's maybe Smoke Criminal getting the 15th for free, Keith. Yeah, that is that is a possibility. They're going to go ahead and molly the corner while mollying sandbags. I mean, so if you're sandbag, your only option is to push close half wall, and you would be quickly traded and or just leave. Banana control from Smoke Criminal, they leave one there. Zayski's lurkout game has been so good. He jumps small pit. This guy has no fear. And he gets the shot on Greek Freak. Maybe one more. Nearly. Leaves Wallow alone. He has to drop a smoke and fight for his life. Just one flash, one man, and he is gone. And so is this round. Let's be honest. Adam flashes through, Oof. gets deleted for PT Skull. But what was that? Zacy is honestly a blessing to smoke criminals. He is such an aggressive lurker that you just love to have that on your team. Like, there are so many people that fall into the trap of just being ultra passive lurks. Like, this guy will recognize opportunities. He will find these gaps and he will push it to the li absolute limit. And you always need that player on your team, especially when you're a default heavy team, right? Because it's easy to fall into the trap of, okay, let's default, but nothing is really happening ever, right? It's easy to fall into that when you're a default heavy team. So you need that fearless player. But there it is, one for one trade. So far, it's okay. But that AK. He needs to be denied by fear off. You can't let him have that for free. Oh, that name. Stall realizes what's up. Clears out those two players close. That's bomb. Yeah, seals the deal. Jimmy buckets, but this should, yeah, the deal should be seen. What a dink. They're holding. They really do not want this round to slip away. I mean, I can't blame them. They really want 15. They want as much money as they can get in case 15 doesn't go their way, right? They want to be as comfortable as they get for the next four rounds. I, 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 that's my best guess. Also, is Petit Skull's pitcher Peter Parker with one tooth? I don't have avatars enabled. Nah, you're missing out. I can't remember why I disabled it, but I think one time I was streaming and some guy had a picture of a phallic symbol. And yeah. That'll do it. Wasn't the symbol though, it was just a straight up phallic. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> no text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this is Smoke Criminals looking to take Banana Control. They're actually doing a much better job than Vex did taking Banana. Unscathed, virtually. Nice flashbang coming out. As I say that, Adam, he steals a kill away. And a second one with James attempting to trade. So that's a two man advantage now for Vex. Swallow, able to get one more. That felt a little greedy from Zayski. We said that aggressive lurk style is nice, but when it results in that, it's not so. Skull gets one. He's done damage on AC1 ask He doesn't want to peek into this. Jimmy Buckets is on his way. No smoke CT. I think Skull may throw one. Fear off will. 
And Firoth was going for the jump up. Greek Freak was covering it, and he got it. This is going to be hard for Petite to get. Oh, what? Oh, why? You're a freak. You're a freak. Okay. All right, Greek. We see you. I feel like I'm the only person in Counter-Strike that just never gets kills through smokes. Yeah, it, I, I don't know how people do it. <laughs> I swear they have all the lineups. It's actually wild. Uh, luckily for smoke, they're criminals, so they have a lot of money. Once again, we find, our, we find them into the same style, to the same pace of default. This time, Zalo is boosted up in bracket. He does have support from his teammate. He's beneath him. Holding the boiler side. Low play. Almost a minute left on the clock. Smoke positioning is definitely hurt. Jimmy Buckets is trying to cover the holes as best as he can, but soon he might find himself overwhelmed. Jimmy Bucket falls here. This is going to end to a disaster. He finds one. James comes through oh, the smoke, wow. but he's not checking for Zalo. A one-for-one -one trade so far, but Petit Skell finds an important one. Now it's just Zalo by himself. Zalo. Oh. What? How? That flick back gave me tingles, Roy. I, I can't blame you. That was sick. And now it's all in Firoth. I mean, the man you want to clutch this. He's alive. There's an op also within reach. If he wants to try to throw the AK in the pit, grab the op. What is this? We should have to run through the small Firoth. Oh, 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 oh. Nearly. Nearly. As Adam will grab the op, get the defuse. But my God, what is happening? Oof, okay. We can breathe. These bomb plans are keeping smoke criminals in these buy rounds right now. Next, four more rounds to go. It's possible. It's within grasp. They just have to be clinical. It's going to start with banana control this time around. Three players here to take it. Molotov doing quite a bit of damage onto Firoth, who's being pressured. Oh, here comes the nades. Oh, I thought they are doing these Charlotte's bounce nades. Zay Ski, I was gonna say, he looks like he's gonna be in trouble. I'm surprised that half wall player didn't peek. He was waiting for a flash or something, but it, it just never came. No refrag potential at all now for smoke criminals. They're uh, they're in a little bit of a weird situation. Yeah, he knows that Greek Freak is posted on this with the opto. He heard the scope. I wonder if he's calling for it and they're gonna swing on him together here. Looks like they're already lining up for it. Oh, Greek Freak falls back. He knows better. He senses it coming. Pillar. Good for one. Of course, the second follows. The third is in for Greek. Can he get the fourth? Yes, he can. This B site is under his thumb. Man is a freak. You got to give it to him, Keith. He's earned it. Oh, yeah. No, his name makes sense. 15 12. Three more rounds to go. This round's going to be a freebie or should be a freebie at least. Smoke criminals down to pistols, armor. That's it. A little utility to maybe increase their chances, but overall, should be an easy round here for Vexed. Might be doable with pistols, though. You never know. There's a chance. Starts with one little kill and then it can snowball from there, but let's see. Yeah, EC1S's position is really aggressive here. It's very ambitious. If he gets overwhelmed, if they flood, it could be problematic. The AC will peek out by himself. No trade yet. He is committed. James, same thing. What is going on? Yeah, why? why you're, all your teammates are right there. Just do it together. Yeah, they should have just all peeked together since the first guy went. And they're still going one by one. That's rough. Rough things for the criminals. There it is. Easy bop up from here. Adam and AC1S holding it down on the B site. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Two rounds remain. Smoke Criminals is 
loss bonus is mounting here, though, Keith. This could be two buy runs in a row if there are bomb plans. So, tough task ahead of Vex, but it's definitely within grasp now. Oh, certainly. We could easily see OT emerge. Nice gaming only setting three players towards the end of this time around. Their utility is uh, shockingly low early. To be honest, I don't even know where their flashes or anything like that went. Jimmy Bucket's good for the first kill. Refrag from Team Scout. Through the wall, all the way back from T-Bridge. He must be saying thank you because they just got a mulligan. I haven't heard that word in a while. I use it in golf all the time, but that's the only place I use it. <laughs> that's it. Flashbangs to push off Banana. Now, with only four players here, Svex have to make a decision. Is it going to be a 1-3 towards the A site? Or are they going to split their defenses into a 2-2? Flashbang and pressure towards Adam. Now that he's used up his smoke, it's not ending well. Firoth gets spammed through and eliminated by Greek Feet with the op. Now they can reposition and reinforce the B defenses. They've eliminated all A pressure. But I think Smoke Criminals is going to use that to their advantage. looking so likely swallow here's this coming though he's gonna right click a smoke get that molly out even a nade he has dropped his entire utility set james is just so blind and so dead to that molly i don't think there's a chance into this site i'd save there's hope there's hope if they can make the smaller you count that's one they gotta find the second player the smoke is fading those all out Perfect positioning, perfect timing, well played by Vexed. 15 to 14, we find ourselves on the 30th. Unfortunately for Smoke Criminals, they're going to have to work with the Walmart purchase, Keith. They're balling on a budget now. This is no Mr. Beast video. This is truly balling on a budget. I make modern day references because I'm a modern day man. You are a modern day man, Keith. And that is my saying, I made that up. I'm just that person. Follow with a deep nade. You see, looking for what he can do through the smoke. I mean, he just controls that SG beautifully, doesn't it? Down to the left. Finds James. Every bullet connects. That's like gaming. Look to just hang on to the A site. The off of Greek Freak will ring out and the bullet will just miss smoke criminals. This is for overtime. This is for, this is for all the marbles, essentially. Marbles, not the smokes. All the marbles. Dicey. That's a little aggressive from him. He tries to take the, take the round into his own hands, but Zalo's there for it. And it seems like they are about to lose their marbles. Zalo still alive and well. Jimmy Buck is on the high ground. He's spraying it down. It's all down to Petit Scout, and he's eliminated, and we find ourselves in OT. First of the season, Keith. There will probably will be more to come, I imagine. This was a, what, four-round comeback from Vex? Yeah, if not more, yeah. I love to see that. You really do. Hey, rules are different now here, Keith. This is 16K MR3. Means weapons available for all three rounds. Bop flag for Adam. The James holding down the full spray eliminates him. That's just unlucky. That's unfortunate. They know that second player, though, is towards CT spot. And James has him pinned down. They actually have access to the B site. He just has to swing on this one. He knows exactly where he is. James, nice play. Great intuition right there. A five versus three. An open B site. But, hey, that shot. could quickly turn. Oh, through the smoke, fear off, fire, free, free. Safety, the l aggressive lurk through middle. You may even find Jimmy mid. Nah, Jimmy's too good for that one, but this is going to be smoke criminals getting their first OT round. And you know, this feeling of when you let five rounds or so slip in a row in regulation, and then OT hits and you finally win that one round, you are kicking yourselves because you're like, we could have done this. You know, we were one round away. Why didn't we just do something like this? So, <laughs> as long as they compose right. it, though. No, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's definitely fair to say. I've felt it. I've experienced it.
Oh, and stabs his teammate in the back. Well, I guess you gotta give a handicap. Lots of utility being dumped towards Banana right now. Only one place to stand, and it's right in the middle between both Molotovs. The grenades are coming in as well. Not gonna be... It's gonna be a little bit off the mark, but this is just chaos right now on the B site. EC1S swings for it. Adam, all by himself. He has to be careful. If he falls, the B site will crumble. Wow. Safety is so quick now. Creek, creek, though. The immediate refrag. Zayski is going to live, but look at James's AC's HP. It's just not good. They have a man advantage, but their HP is just so low, it's it's questionable. They need James and Zayski to go first. They need a refrag, and they need to trade them out. They take need to take advantage of their HP and take advantage of their bodies while they're still standing. So smoke towards mid from Jimmy. May push them towards these two players in B. Adam in a dangerous spot, but it could end well. Oh, he's giving away his position. Gonna have to fall back now. Smoke criminals. You know, at least one one of the three people is here. They're gonna fully commit to it. They don't know the second player is here. I wonder if they're gonna expect a double setup on site. Now, they might think Reek Feek is the only defender here. He's gonna find the first one. This actually makes it so much easier now. Adam off the contact, finds a second, a one for one trade. Oh. But Zeisty, not oh. only a lurk, an entry as well. What is Icy doing this game, man? His 31st kill, and it comes in such a critical way. As Jimmy Buckets, this nade, if he dunks off the roof or has a good throw, can secure a 1v1, but he just wants to come in gun first. Cannot blame him. Can he get around here off? He's tagged, 14 HP. That's the nade, but in the wrong spot. He jumps up, trying to bait out someone. Spiroff will peek and takes down Jimmy. That's two in a row now for Smoke Criminals. They're on the back swing, back in this one. Now we are playing MR316K. Don't get too far ahead of yourselves. I know what you're thinking. They got money. They're okay. They are okay. Wait, is I see? Uh, quick B? I don't... So you can do this with an AK, though, so I don't... Wait, they're not thinking they're, they're on Pat Armor, right? Surely they know. Surely they know. Okay, maybe he's just going to need the charge. It's not even going to matter. Two for two trade is perfect. The B side's opened up. They have a player holding flank. That's they're not. They have nothing to worry about in that direction, so they can just focus on CT and construction. Jimmy Buckets tries to catch the timing, but he catches a bullet to the face. Greek Freak looking to go beast mode right now, along with Zalo. Double volley for plenty of time, but Greek Freak, they... Didn't notice that he smoked the mollies back deep and he was able to peek off of it. 2v2. Everyone is here now, Max. And a what? stranger smoke from Swallow. It's just Firoth. I'd be so mad on smoke criminals. As Firoth is going to try to push the smoke. He gets the grace of the way the smoke faded so that he sees Swallow first. Grief Freak gets the call. He's weak to the P250. Uh, one bullet. But only one round on CC side might not be enough. Better than none. I concur. Well, I have to say though, Greek freak, hands of God. I bow down. Yeah, both mollies unfortunately went deep from back from uh, smoke criminals that they threw there, and he was able to smoke them both with one smoke and deep in the corner, so he's able to peek in front of the smoke. So it's just a little oversight from smoke. Let's see if Smoke Criminals can get their streak out on CT once again. Nade. Right on Connor's legs. Double nade, actually. James takes a little bit of a chunk of the damage as well. Now Connor's confidence is definitely diminished here. Once you hit that 20 HP, it's... the stress really affects you, doesn't it? Well, you start to know that one entry fragger who's wide swinging, not necessarily stopping, and a bullet to the chest will kill you, so it makes you a little paranoid. Zay's D oversteps his bounds. Connor, thank goodness he's got the immediate refrag. That was the bomb carrier, so they spot bomb towards B. And that pulls Firoth over, so both hops are going to be towards the B side. But Vex Gaming just at the minute mark, so they're not pressed for time.
Kokomo criminals are a little unsure what they want to do with their numbers. Neither is Vex, to be honest. They have a lot of angles to clear if they want to go back to the A site. You got to retake halls. You got to retake bracket. That costs utility and or members. So, yeah, a little, a little scary. Time is ticking. Only 30 seconds left on the clock. I mean, this, this is it. They're committed to the A site now. There's really no falling back. All they have is a single smoke and a single flash. That is it. That's all they have to make this work. Yeah, Firoth is settling. He knows. Firoth, that is impeccable work. He finds himself the double kill, the triple kill as well. It's a 1v1 now between the uppers on site. Oh. Green Freak eliminates him, but there is no time. It is Smoke Criminals finding the round and match point. Two attempts to win. Two more rounds for Vex to bring it into OT number two. Losing in this OT is not an option here for Smoke Criminals anymore. That has to be a relief a little bit in some ways. That's still got to be nerve-wracking, right? I mean, they, they did throw a four-round deficit. Yeah, that's true. What's two rounds to four besides 50% of the amount? Uh, a straight acute angle. Yes. Right? Yes. I remember Keith that. Skill. Something acute. Yeah. You're acute, Keith. Oh, that nade! So was that nade? <laughs> Ooh. Who, like, who expects that, right? Like, no one. No one in their right mind would expect a nade like that in such a critical round. That's we savage. have to be crazy to push that far. Yeah, right? and he heard it. He heard it hit the player too, so he knows someone's in there. And now with the lack of pressure towards B, once again, Vex is falling into that same trap, right? They haven't pushed off banana. It's gonna be a four-man stack. Trying to pull this off, but he takes two. James is still here on Ninja Box. They're in small pit, but at what cost, Roy? How do you fight out of? Smoke moto. You're off. They just smoke pit and try to come to sight. That molly somehow hits James. I don't know how. As James is at default, he'll get the flash. He's just trying to live. Keep bodies here. Zacy, fear off, get involved. One player remaining. Is James That's it. it down and fear off gets it. Smoke criminals will take the map. 29, 32, 24. Three players just popping off. Yeah, I have to give a shout out to EC1 as in Greek Freak, though. I mean, I had them as well. I mean, they all performed phenomenal. This was just such a good display of, of, of CS right there. I thoroughly enjoyed that. There's so much good takeaways from both those teams. I'm really excited for both of these teams' futures in this league and, of course, in their careers. Nice to see Smoke Criminals back, though. I mean, they, they're phenomenal to watch. They're a lot of fun. They're very default heavy on the T side, but that CT side is crisp and clean so i gotta yeah. give it to them shout out to them but that concludes the third match for us here we have one more for you guys coming up it is going to be team queso versus offset if i'm not mistaken for our final map that should be coming up here shortly if not already underway we're going to cut to a quick short break so we can get some water here really quickly and then we'll be back into the game as soon as possible don't go anywhere see you soon